Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. I hope you're all doing really well. I just want to take a moment to thank all of you who have liked, subscribed, shared, commented, or have donated to my channel. All your support means the world to me. Today's pick a card reading is an interesting one. We are going to see how do strangers view you? In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different image. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one, how do strangers view you? Okay, so we have the hangman, the moon, and the four of cups reversed. So with the hangman, instantly what I see when I see this card is like she's hanging off this thing and it gives me like gymnast vibes. So when strangers see you guys, like the first thing that they think is like, you look like somebody who I'm getting is either like a gymnast, a dancer, or an athlete of some kind. Okay, I'm even getting like swimmer. Of course, you don't have to be any of this, but the impression that I'm getting is like, it's just like you look like, you look like one of these athletes, okay? And the way that you walk is also like, you know, you have this grace, this balance, this flexibility about you. So it's like, you know, you even walk like with a purpose, but either way, it looks like, you know, it's just, it's graceful, basically. Okay, so along with that, you know, I'm seeing between the hangman and the moon card here, I feel like your style comes across as modern at times, okay? Looking at, you know, what she's wearing here. But then she's kind of wearing, you know, like something a little different. So it kind of makes me feel like you guys are definitely modern but spiritual. And I'm just kind of getting like, you know, for the most part, I feel like you guys dress modern, contemporary, you know, but like you have this trendy style about you. But every now and then I'm getting like something that's kind of like coming across kind of like spiritual. It's the only way that I can really explain it. For some of you, this might be even a cultural outfit, okay? Okay, with the hangman and the moon card here, these are two major arcanas. So I'm also getting the impression that, you know, they're two very, like, spiritual and deep cards. That I get the impression that you guys, you know, it's like you come across as being, like, serene, okay? And kind of like you're in a world of your own. Like there's an entire world going on, you know, inside you and in your mind. And so even when you're at a place, it's kind of like your mind could be somewhere else, okay? It's kind of got that feeling of like you could be processing what was just said to you. Or, you know, something that happened. Like before you entered this place, this public place, for instance. And you're trying to understand like, wow, like how did that escalate between that person and I? Okay, like it's got that vibe to it. Just that you guys are very like reflective. You're very deep. You want to understand things, okay? And it's like written all over you. I don't even feel like you guys are like this all the time, but that's like what's currently coming through whenever you click on this video because it's timeless. In fact, normally for like my group ones, I get a very vocal person. So this is interesting that a more reflective, observant you is coming through, especially when it comes to strangers, because it makes sense. Because every stranger you encounter, you're not talking to. It's just what they're observing. So this is definitely a different side to you that's coming through, group one. I'm also getting, okay, so both of these people have, like, long, wavy hair. So some of you could have, like, long, wavy hair, and I feel like strangers, like, admire it. They think your hair looks good. Even if it's not long and wavy, that's just representing whoever chose this group, like, your hair is standing out. 
definitely getting though like overall like the way that you guys dress is you know you could wear sandals and just something kind of casual but like it looks good you know you guys have your own unique style could even be a splash of bohemian but again you just come across as being trendy but like without really having to try though I feel like you guys you know you make anything look good she also has long wavy hair though so that's interesting you know you guys could have that type of hair but either way doesn't matter I see that hair is definitely standing through okay so this card was initially reversed so when I see the four of so the four of cups upright you know it's like somebody who isn't seeing things through the right lens the right perspective but with it reversed this to me is somebody who's starting to open their mind they're starting to see the light you know a more optimistic hopeful card so I feel like you guys in general kind of like carry that with you like this optimistic point of view you know always seeing the, not always but like seeing the silver lining you know, no matter what's going on in your life, basically. And I just get that, you know, overall I get like this like relaxed, possibly even smiling face, okay? Like everything's going to be all right. That's like your guys' vibe. And strangers, they see that, you know, when they see you. So yes, you know, at times it could look like you're trying to understand something that might have just happened or is going on in your life. But with this card, you know, I also get that overall it looks like, you know, things are all right in your reality. You know, it's got a very ease type of feeling to it. Okay, going back to this card upright though, I feel like, you know, regardless of the original meaning of this card upright it's kind of like you guys might sometimes come across though kind of like you're daydreaming okay I feel like you guys are definitely dreamers I feel like you're dreamers who put these dreams into action but there's definitely this element to you of like somebody who's like dreaming up you know their next goal or what they want to manifest It's interesting because the moon card is a very deep, you know, really facing the darkness type of card. But all in all, with the vibe here that I'm getting is actually somebody, you guys come across as somebody who's spiritual, but you know, you're really like, you're doing it in the world. You know what I mean? Like you are making things happen. You are making your goals happen, your dreams happen. And it's like, if nothing else, like if it's like you're constantly got this like focused you know, persona that you guys are headed towards something great, okay? And, you know, you've got this optimism and this ease about you. So uh, you guys, you bring about this interesting dynamic of being, like, ambitious, okay? When strangers see you, they get this energy. you got this go-getter-like energy group, group one. But at the same time, there's this ease about you. There's this fun, carefree, laid back, kind of got that Bob Marley feel of every little thing is going to be all right, you know. And I honestly get like a magical vibe with you, with the rainbow here and the moon here. Yeah, so you guys are the type I feel like that, you know, just want to be out in nature. So it's strangers that view you out in nature they see you in your natural element you know like that's where you feel at home that's where you tap back into that ease you know and it's where you recharge and you know you feel your best and then you can go out into the world and make things happen feeling refreshed is what i'm seeing with this so then those strangers that see you out in the world you know, they get less of a somebody who's trying to understand something that's going on and more of a person who's like, all right, you know, I know what I'm about and I know what I'm about to do. Like that kind of like determined, confident, at ease type persona is what I'm getting. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys.
Hey, group number two. Okay, so how do strangers view you? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the first impression that I got when I saw these cards is with the Ace of Wands. You see how, like, she's not really looking at anyone, but kind of has her head held up high. I kind of feel like, you know, at first glance, strangers might kind of think you guys are a bit stuck up, okay? But the longer that they observe you or if they get to talk to you, I'm actually... I'm actually getting that they see that you guys are actually really cool and chill and down to earth, okay? And a lot of fun to be around, or at least like, you know, whether they're really around you and hanging out or not, they observe you as being like this real upbeat, bubbly type of, they view you as being this upbeat, bubbly, friendly type of person, okay? Who's very personable is what I'm seeing. Yeah, and then going off, you know, the Ace of Swords even deeper, what I'm also getting is that you guys, you come across like, you know, somebody who's just lit with inspiration, okay, and just kind of like off doing your own thing, you know, with the, with the Page of Wands right next to it. So you guys definitely have this interesting mixture of like somebody who is struck with ideas and is taking off with them, okay? But even more so than that, what I'm getting is it's like you guys have this happy-go-lucky, especially when you're feeling your best, okay? This happy-go-lucky energy of like, you know, like while I'm accomplishing my goals and my dreams, it's like I'm going to have fun along the way. And I feel like it's a very contagious, magnetic energy to have. And strangers and people that you know, they love it, okay? Like, because you guys, you are the type that you make life seem exciting again, okay? Like, I feel like people come alive in your presence, basically. Like, you know, and those who do get to talk to you feel inspired by you, okay? So there's definitely at first like this air about you you know you come across as being attractive like you have your stuff together okay but as soon as people you know get a glimpse further into you it's like they're like wow like you're amazing you know and I know you think I'm human you know you don't get to see all my ups and downs but this is how you come across the strangers though. Like somebody who's just honestly like making the best of what they have while reaching for whatever it is that they want while having fun along the way, okay? It's really this like upbeat, bubbly, like energy that's got people like really like wondering about you, you know? They wonder what are you up to? Like what's your life really like even behind the scenes, okay? And often, like, when people are following you on social media group, too, they really want to know, like, is everything as amazing as it seems in your life? Okay, that's interesting. So they kind of want a glimpse of, like, that behind the scenes, any struggles that you go through. And, you know, I feel like just because maybe you guys don't broadcast every little thing that happens that, you know, doesn't go your way, it's not that, you know... You're not real in that way. It's just that you guys understand that what you focus on expands. So you don't choose to like put your energy there, okay? Yeah, it's like that other saying too. Like energy flows where attention goes. Or So anyway, it's just like you guys are the type that want to broadcast and highlight and focus your energy on what works for you. And if that can inspire others, like you're all about that. Here's the other thing though, like I said though, as people get to know you, they realize, oh, like, you know, you are real, you are down to earth, you do put in the work, the time, the attention that things deserve to really take off. And you know, it's just like, you're real, group two. That's what I get with this eight of pentacles here. The other thing that comes across, you know, to you with strangers is the fact that you're very trendy, okay? Like, judging by what she's wearing, 
you've got this, you know, your own style, and I just feel like, like, you look good in anything group two, but, like, you do have this style that's just, like, uniquely your own, and it looks good, and it just accentuates what already looks good. I feel the same with your hair, your makeup if you wear any, okay, or even if you don't. I always get like my group twos are like natural beauties or naturally handsome. Yeah, you you guys do have a look to you though, okay? I noticed that nobody is looking straight ahead here. Or, you know, people do feel like you guys are constantly like working on something, okay? Or something's on your mind, you know? Your mind tends to be clicking away on the next idea, the next project that you just want to execute. I see that with these two here. Very goal-driven you guys are. I feel like your energy comes across that way to strangers. It's kind of like the feeling I'm getting with you, group two, is, you know, these strangers are intrigued by you. There's something mysterious about you. And that could be just from them not talking to you because they're strangers. But either way, it's just like you, got, you look like you've got it going on in life, even from the brief encounter I'm seeing. And they just want to know more. Okay, people want to know about you. They want to know about what's going on in your life. Okay, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but it's also come through to me that friends that you haven't spoken to in a while are wondering like what's going on in your life. So maybe you don't post a lot on social media, but that which you do post is usually like some kind of accomplishment or like a good time you're having or something that inspires you. So it's kind of like people want more. They want to know more about you group too. I feel like you definitely have like this sophisticated, classy looking style. Just trendy. Uniquely trendy is what's also coming through for you guys as far as how you look. Sometimes you might throw your hair up, but then I feel like a lot of times it's down. I feel like my group too like to wear black, but you also like to mix it up because we have white and yellow here as well. Group two, you guys could be the type who like to kind of dance when you're out in public, okay? Like you could be at the store and you hear a song or in your car and you just start dancing. I feel like you guys are the type to make any moment fun. Like basically you treat life like an adventure is what I'm seeing with this. You get people realizing that it isn't necessarily like the thing that they're doing that matters, but like the state of mind and being that you're in as you're doing the thing, okay? All in all, group two, I just see you guys as being really upbeat, carefree, and playful when you're out in public and strangers view you, and you just have this, like, charisma about you, you know, that, and just kind of the spontaneous, adventurous spirit to you that, like I said, like, you make any moment feel fun. It's kind of like, you know, you... Yeah, and I just see it as being magnetic, you know, and it like inspires people, whether they consciously realize it or not, to do the same thing, to make any moment fun, to live life to the fullest. Yeah, so basically group two, I just, I see you like inspiring people by just being you. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you guys this resonates let me know in the comments and if it does don't forget to give it a like thank you all so much for being here bye guys hey group number three okay so how do strangers view you okay group number three so we start off with the star card reversed so instantly what comes to me is you guys come across the strangers like a brooding artist, okay? Interesting, but, you know, we're not going to keep the star card reversed because I see through that and I see how amazing you guys are. So I always tend to get like an artistic, creative artist rock star feel with my group threes okay so you guys definitely march to the beat of your own drum and i don't doubt that one of your ways of channeling any hurt okay with the star card reversed could be through music okay or writing or communicating okay so take what whatever creative outlet 
matches your circumstance. But either way, I'm seeing that there's something about the way that you guys look and present yourselves that does come across like, I'm actually kind of getting like goth or emo scene, okay, for you guys. Um, that's not going to be for all of you, you know, it's a general reading, but like that is, that energy is coming through though, okay. Yeah, like something like that for some of you. Um... Either way though, so even if you're not like in a band, you look like you're in a band, okay? So you guys could also like to wear black or like, you know, like studded jewelry, bracelets, choker, <laughs> stuff like that, boots. Yeah, so you definitely have your own unique style. For the rest of you that that doesn't resonate with, I definitely see that this group likes to wear hoodies, okay? <laughs> Could even wear hats. The guys that choose this group, some of you I feel like have a man bun or like longer hair, kind of like he does. Yeah, I'm getting a mixture for the women, but either way, like some of you have long hair, some of you might have a pixie cut. If you guys want to like share what your hair looks like, because group three hair always comes out for you guys. So it always makes me curious, like, what is it picking up on with your hair? Feel free to leave a comment. But going back to the strangers. Okay, so yeah, you guys definitely have this like, I'm either in a band or I have an artistic look to me. Okay, that's like what's coming through for you guys. You guys, okay, with the seven of cups, it's kind of like you guys definitely have this like you're here you know like when strangers see you out in public but your mind is definitely somewhere else okay you could be thinking about that person that you just met or your crush wondering what they're up to you know just like you guys you're dreamers you're dreaming about the next project the next person you know i'm just getting like head in the clouds but like Here's the thing though, even though you guys are dreamers, you definitely put your dreams into action, I see, with the Knight of Swords though. So it's like, you know, you don't you don't stay in dreamland for long. Like you guys definitely take action. I feel like, okay, group three, your reading wants to take on a whole other life of its own. Like going beyond what strangers see. It's kinda like I'm getting that you guys, the pain that you went through with the star card reversed is fueling this creative outlet that you're dreaming about and that you're also taking action on and that it's going to inspire others. So I'm getting a like a yes if you're wondering about that and some of you are actually doing this, okay? I do feel like you guys have your own unique style though that stands out to strangers. It does make strangers want to know more about you and your life story, okay? So even if you think that nobody's really noticing or wondering, they are. I just feel like a lot of people keep a lot to themselves. So it's like why you never know. You definitely have different modes to you, though, depending on where you're at. Like, for instance, when you guys are more in, like, I'm dreaming up new ideas, new projects, or you just met somebody, or you're kind of, you know, like something like that. It's like you're more in this space of like, I'm here, but I'm really in my head. <laughs> you guys are the type that sometimes you find that whatever is going on in your head is more interesting to you than what's going on in front of you. Okay, so yeah, strangers see that. In fact, okay, you guys are the type that... Somebody could even be talking to you and you can be like, uh-huh, yeah, but like your head's somewhere else. <laughs> oh, it's funny, group three. Um, yeah, and then, you know, when you're in this go-getter mode, like you're hitting the ground running. When you're in the I'm taking action mode, it's like people see you as being a fast mover. Okay, like you guys don't like to sit still for long is what I'm getting. You like to like, all of a sudden you get in this like wavelength where you just want to get as much done as possible, okay? Like a multitasking machine, basically. I'm also getting you guys are fit. 
you're lit and you're fit. <laughs> no, what I mean by that is like, I, I see you guys being in shape. Definitely like movement. I think you like physical activities too. So some of these strangers are seeing you in your element. Okay. Like you could be outside playing sports. Okay. Um, or inside playing sports. I'm getting like a sporty vibe all of a sudden. Okay, so like I said, there's different vibes coming through. Some of you are coming across like you're in a band or should be or look like you are. And others of you are coming across as being kind of sporty. I'm actually getting Aries Aquarius vibes. Okay. Like you like physical movement. You like getting things done. Like you'd like to be chill too, but there's just like this mixture coming across. I'm also getting a very interesting introverted extroverted personality with you group three depending on what mood you're in. So if you're just meeting these strangers, you know, again, if you're in um, that introspective dreamer mode, you'll say things here and there, but like, you know, you guys like who you know overall. That's when you feel you're most comfortable, but when you're in go-getter mode, I feel like you're also more talkative, you're more witty, you're more charming. So again, it just depends on like what mood, mode, mood and mode you're in. And that like dictates how you speak to strangers. I feel like though, when you guys like get out of your head and into the present moment it's like you tap into this confident wavelength though where you guys come alive and you're animated and passionate about whatever it is that you're into you know this knight of swords kicks in with the seven of cups with the star card and you just you guys light up you know you can be the life of the party whether it's a party or not you know it's just like an expression like you could you just come alive and then like people want to listen to you they want to hang with you they want that they want that spark of aliveness that gets ignited within you. And then I feel like you just, your conversations are like, they're deep. They're mentally stimulating. Okay. I feel like strangers then find you to be intriguing, interesting, somebody full of knowledge and like inspiring. Okay. Circling all the way back to the star card. Like you guys got it going on. It's just kind of like a lot of the times I feel like you're in your head. In fact, this is the most like, even though this is a cups card, I'm getting the such air sign vibes with it. Like this guy's look to me looks like an Aquarius and um, he's just so in his head. But it could be fueled by, you know, emotion and what's in the heart. But like at the same time, it's just so got like air sign vibes. And then for this being an air sign, it's a very action like card. So it's got fire sign vibes for me. So like you guys are a mixture, okay? You're a mixture of all the elements rolled into one. And it's like, you're just this like enigmatic person. In fact, I feel like my Rubik's cube card should be out here. It's like, you've got many layers to you that are fascinating to people. Like the more they get to know you, the more they wanna know even more, okay? You're like a good book group three that people just can't put down, okay? Full of cliffhangers too, I feel. You guys definitely have the spontaneous nature to you where as soon as people think they know you, like you do or say something that throws them and they're like, what? But it's like in a good way. So group three, you guys are full of surprises. You're in your own world. You're a dreamer, but at the same time you take action. You are gonna channel, you know, the healing that you went through is fueling your artistic nature and you know, whatever you guys have to say, your message, whatever you're working on is going to inspire others. In fact, I feel like you guys are already doing that just by being you. Okay, group number three, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys.